Good morning, YouTube. How's it going? It's Lisa. I'm back. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Grab yourself a cup of coffee as I have done. Uh, if you want, or tea or something to drink, I'm going to do an unboxing video. Um, today I've got two items, I think, that are journaling related. I know one is for sure. This one I'm not so sure about, but I wanted to do a quick unboxing. Actually, I've got three um, that I wanted to just kind of show you what I've got. Um, again, this, this video is not sponsored. I'm not getting promoted or nobody's asked me to, um, do an endorsement of any kind. I've done all of this with my own funds. And so all the views and opinions of, are my own. Okay. So really quickly, I've got this first package here. Um, I really like this illustrator and she's got a shop, um, of of her own and she just recently published her first book and I just like to support local art or I should say artists when I can and so I bought something from her and this is it um, the artist's name is Naomi Van Doren um, and so she came out and she did the fox and the um, Naya and the fox dragon I think is what the name was the story of her her book and so she's a really wonderful illustrator I think she has, this is her information. If you wanna like check her out, her artwork is absolutely phenomenal. And her book was really good considering it was her very first book that she wrote, it was very entertaining. So I got her Explorer pin from that series. So that will get clipped onto probably one of my art bags. All right, let's do the second thing. This might not be as interesting, but I'm not exactly sure this is let me see what this is oops oh okay so finally um i have been exploring um based off of my wa watching of um natasha newton out of the uk she has turned me on to oops that's my invoice receipt luminous carandosh pencils and so i basically have now expanded out my collection of my luminous pencils these are so incredibly creamy to go down on paper um that i've really been enjoying them i've started to do a couple of like just outline sketches but um this was the um much anticipated indigo and a Payne's gray pencil color and I wasn't planning on swatching art, but I think I'm gonna have to so that you guys can kind of see these. And I bought two of these because the indigo, which I do believe this is, um, hold on a second, this one is, this is the Payne's Gray. Um, and let me see if I can find really quickly my art potch that has them okay so I put them I had a leftover um, art pencil roll that I actually am getting a bigger one and these are all of my Karen Dosh luminous color pencils that I've already have I think I've swatched these for you guys already hold on just a second hold on just a second okay I found them ah uh, what I was looking for so let me just pull out my little pen for my portable kit here. So um, a lot of these colors, like I said, are um, <clears throat> multiples. So I've got, um, okay. So this one is dark indigo. And that's a duplicate. Then I've got and then this is Payne's Gray. I think I've got three of these now. Yeah, I got three Payne's Gray. And then I wanted to try Scarlet because I felt like my collection needed a red. All right, let's get you zoomed in so that you can kind of see the swatch. And we're doing indigo first. 
Okay, now I understand what she was saying. This is such a nice dark color that it almost can act as a, nas a nice neutral black. Um, I love that color. And then we've got Payne's Gray. Which is a little bit darker than the steel gray that I've got already. And then I've got Scarlet, which I felt like my collection needed a red. And that's beautiful. Really happy that I picked these three colors up. So this is, um, let's see here, some additional colors that I've got in my book. Uh, that's the wrong one. Hold on just a second. So those are the other, let me zoom back out. These are the other colors that I have that are part of the collection that you see here. So these are the, some of the swatches here. So the colors are just really, really lovely. I've got this palette. I think I'm gonna be using this for a while. I think I'm all set. I do need a bigger pencil case, however, and I've got one coming. So stay tuned for that one as well. So those were the remaining pieces of luminous pencil colors. I think I'm all set, like I said, on that. There's the pen. And then lastly, but not least, the piece of resistance. I have been waiting. I've been hedging and hodging over this package for quite some time. It kind of came to me. It came to me um, while I was out of town. Um, so I was really happy to see that. Oh, in addition, I also really quickly have some Blender um, Caran d'Ache um, pencils as well. So, oh, and I got another color. Oh, and I got a yellow. Oh, what color is this one? Sorry guys, forgot about this one. This, oh, I got brown ochre. Let's see about that one. Wait, gotta hold up a little bit longer. Hold on just a second. Let me just swatch this one really quick. Um, this has become like my color squatch book for art halls. Um, so complete and complete works. Let's do... Make sure you're back in focus. Okay, so this is brown. And it's, let's see here. I always forget how to spell ochre. Ochre, okay. I felt like this could be a nice little uh, substitute for a uh, yellow or wheat kind of color. Oh yeah, I like that. These go down so creamy. These are just a joy to work with. I can't wait to sharpen them up and get them into my collection. And that's what that looks like. All right. All right, now, last but not least, and the package that I've been waiting to open for some time now, or waiting for with anticipation. I hedged about the size of this, and that's what took me so incredibly long to um, order one. I knew I wanted one. It took me months to figure out what size. I kind of just kept hedging on it. All right, and so if everybody knows the trademark symbol, it is a Sojourner. Um, I have not bought from Rowena in quite some time. I bought from her when she initially kind of came out and then she came out with the trifold. Oh my goodness. I love it. And so I think I got this in stag. It's a trifold with the custom pocket. I'm going to bring this back out so you guys can get a better overhead view. Oh, it's just beautiful. And I ordered some of her stickers because I really do like her stickers. Um, so I got three of her stickers to stick in my journal. I got mine in a B6 Slim. So I was hedging between her, my Bassy & Co, which is my navy one that I'm absolutely loving. Um, this has become great. It holds my Stology. It's become more of a junk journal. Um, 
and I have in here like my wine tasting uh, notebook that I get for my wines I put in there but it's just a junk journal for all kinds of things including art supply stuff but I have my one from hand stitch leather tea um, that I absolutely I absolutely love it but I was trying to figure out if my jam is a b6 or b6 slim and it's between these two sizes and so I decided to get this one and I just oh ooh, yep it has that wonderful leather smell um, and I really really like this um, the leather's a little stiff though so I'm hoping that that I think it'll bend it'll morph um, inside's got the natural pockets I like the contrast with the nice stag leather and the red stitching this is beautiful oh and they have this leather sample oh I like this leather color document life as it happens sojourner net that is definitely her motto um, and then I've got oh I've got the hello card like everybody else gets um, with her information in it I like her stuff I like it even better now um, I've got uh, my initial order with her was God five or six years ago and I got a little kind of pocket size one and I ordered an extra cord and I was a little bit turned I thought I got the TM but it looks like I got just the regular size one so I really like this though this is really firm so I might try to get one that has floppy leather but I wanted to see what it was going to look like before I ordered the next size because I do want to put my Cafe Note B6 Slim in here and I've been waiting to like house this so I can start this I um I'm just not filling my G-Bone Techo that I got for the year I'm not really using it like I thought I was going to use it oh yeah this is perfect it's got the perfect amount of thickness not too heavy but I can still take it with me when I travel oh I love this this is great this is gonna be my new jam so yeah um, like everybody says I just really like it I like the trifold I like how it protects the edge of the um, the notebook here on the side oh this is great so I can just take this throw this into my bag this is nice lightweight paper I'm trying to find an alternative to the Tomo River paper since they kind of changed it um, so I know that I'm still using my original A5 with my Hobonichi paper but I think I've got the last of my Hobonichi um, into this journal cover so yeah it's between A5 B6 B6 slim um, this kind of paper I just I love it but if they've changed the formula in it it's gonna make it a little bit more of a challenge to continue to use so that is it um, if you like the video please give it a thumbs up leave your comments below if you have any questions if you like to see any of you have any suggestions for future content on my channel please let me know I hope you guys like the video I hope the sound and the quality of the image is much more to everybody's liking in the interim stay safe stay healthy and take care Bye.